Hi, good morning everyone. This is Sunday morning. Uh, I'm only going to do the uh, the one video today. I'm a little bit tied up. So here goes. Um, up next we've got, as the box says, a tungsten krypton. Tungsten. Tungs ram. Krypton lamp. I don't know the age. It's obviously not brand new. It's a few years old. Um, give me the data on the end of the box. The tongues room made in Hungary, which uh, is expected. 60 watt. IMAP means it's well as it says frost. And it's 130 volts. E27, that's the base. I never remember these numbers. To me, it's an Edison screw. But officially, it's an E27. 130 volts. Which tells me to be careful when I relight it. Make sure the variac is at zero. There's the lamp. That gives you an idea of the size. The use of Krypton, as far as I know, is to enhance the lighting ability I think now if I'm wrong <laughs> needs to say a very good friend of mine will probably explain exactly what it does um, I tend to not know too much about the ins and outs of things basic my stuff is basically a collection and perhaps lacking the extra knowledge that um, someone else has to add to it um, no, that was clear no it wasn't I'm just looking at the uh, that black insulation which is obviously vitrite it looks a well made lamp um, it's coil coil the etch is not very good I'll try and show it up but I don't think it's going to show up There's the etch. It's a very, very, it's been obviously in the past, it hasn't been printed very well. I haven't rubbed it because I don't even touch the um, etches. If I'm cleaning it, I'll make sure I use a cloth and go all the way round so I don't touch it. But that one, it looks like it has been touched. So sorry about that, can't give an idea of the etch. But there's the lamp. I'll light it up for you. Um, yeah, I know that, that Alec will probably know more about these type of lamps. Um, and particularly being Krypton. Krypton refers to the gas that's used inside of it. It's quite small as well, so that might be another reason it's very small. There's my hand. As I've said before, it's quite small. Anyhow, let me let me screw it in and see a light. And I'll turn the, that one off. Change the plug over. Uh, where's the other? Oh, there we are. That plugs into the. Variac. The variac is zero at the moment, so we can screw this in without any fear of blowing it. Blowing it, it's gone in. Just check, yes. Yeah, yeah. So this is only 130 volts. So I'm, I'm going to wind it up, not as far as that, just enough to so you see it alight. Assume yes, it is going to light. There's the filament showing the. Uh, filament just a light. There's someone coming in so I might have to make this rather quick. That's it a light. So that's the actual actual light working. Anyway as I said before it's going to be a quick video. Turn it on its side and that's the side view. So once again, thanks for watching. Any questions, please ask. If I can't answer it, 
then I expect Alec can. Well, I know he can, so uh, the answer there. So thanks again for watching. You're just going to get this video today. I might do one a bit later, but um, this is what you're getting today. So I hope you enjoy. Thanks again. Thank you.